Hello guys, Mukas here. Uh, this video is a little rant about what annoys me the most in Blind Zen 2 currently. Uh, it's still a great game, but there is still some things that are very frustrating. And this video is also inspired by uh, SCL Youngblood's wishlist. But I have uh, many more wishes, so let's try to be quick. <laughs> so first, the performance, of course. It's uh, better than uh, before the OMFG patch, but it's still not enough. Like, uh, the selling point of this game is large-scale battles, and yet it's almost impossible to get 60 FPS in high graphics in a large battle. N not to mention the stability and the, cr the crashes that happens a lot. So I would like this to be improved. So next, uh, and this one is very important, I think it's population balance. I think it's ru ruining some situations sometimes. Uh, I think the underpopulated uh, factions should have uh, more XP. And actually, the XP should be dynamic according to the, at the faction you attack. Like, if you attack the overpopulating faction, you'll have uh, much more XP than uh, if you attack the, the other faction that are not very populated. There have been many good posts on, um, posts on Reddit about this. So I would like that they add, uh, implement something like that. And it's very simple. Like, uh, an XP bonus, an XP bonus according to the faction you attack simply. So next is about the upcoming uh, Heavy Assault nerf. I heard that they want to add a delay for the Heavy Assault shield and actually I don't like delays, I hate delays. I had enough lag in my life and I, I would prefer something different like maybe a directional shield like it will only protect the front of the Heavy Assault with some like uh, 120 uh, degree, ma degree but no delay please. So next I would like that they add the fire team system like the ability to split up the squad in two or three or maybe four, so so you have more XP for st so you'll have more XP for staying with your fire team, and they will be highlighted through cover, so you always know where they are. And I think uh, because I I want this because I think three to six players is more than enough to run in independently, and they can run missions by their own, and it will give more leadership possibilities. Like even in one squad, you could give uh, different missions to different to the different fire teams, not just like squad camp the point and there's like twelve guys on the point or twelve guys in a location. I think we could split this up. So I also want to them to add uh, more rewards for leadership, like uh, maybe a morale boost for sticking with with your stuck with your uh, squad leader or for obeying or fa or for staying uh, next or for staying close to the waypoint maybe also a small HP boost for staying with your fire team or your squad like when you are very close to them I think it will give like uh, more reasons to say to stay close to your squad mates so next is about the maxes and I really don't like still don't like how maxes impact the gameplay in Planet Side 2 I think they should have a more supportive role and not an infantry killing role I think they should uh, have restricted the anti-infantry weapons, like maybe just in one arm, but the second arm they will be forced to use an anti-air weapon or anti-vehicle weapon. They should have more team play possibilities, maybe an aura, like with a small shield boost if you stay close to the max. Uh, maybe a very small uh, bonus, but that will stack up if there is uh, many more maxes, but the maxes themselves should be much less uh, dangerous against infantry. So I want it to be important in a battle for the team play, but not uh, crucial like they are now to to breach a room. Like the, it's the the only the only method here in Planet Side Two is max crash. There's nothing else. If you want to do something, max crash. <laughs> like it's boring. It's gonna get uh, boring uh, at a certain time. And uh, I think they're a little too powerful still against infantry. And I still think they should have limited revives, like one or two with an incremental HP penalty. So next I wanted to talk about some recent addition that I really don't like. Like the Coyote missiles. I really don't like how they impact uh, air gameplay. Even the air the even the air to air lock ons, I think they're I think they're much more effective now than uh, than using skill weapons and I think it's bad like uh, it's reducing the skill ceiling and uh, it's not good for the game uh, in the long term. So uh, there is also a tool that I don't like, is the motion spotter for the infiltrator, the new tool that uh, tracks your movement even where you look in, on the map and uh, it, uh, it does it for all the levels, like if you do it at the bottom of a tower, 
it will track the movement of a guy on the top of the tower and I think it uh, promotes camping and it makes uh, flanking much more difficult and impossible actually if there is a mo one motion sp spotter on because they can even know what you think actually if they can know where you look they can know what you think and I think it's uh, ruining the flank in some situations so I really don't like this uh, tool either either nerf it and nerf its range or make it uh, make it spot a much wider range but only the red dots but not the arrows like now not like the arrows like now I really don't like it so next I wanted to talk about Esamir I think this continent is ruined by the fact that there's only one tech plant so it's always unbalanced for the because the faction with the heavy tanks are gonna destroy all the lightnings it's very simple actually uh, I think the either Esamir should have three tech plants or, you, or this restriction about the tech plants would be removed like even without tech plants you should be able to spawn heavy tanks in a base that can spawn heavy tanks why not seriously I really don't like this restriction the tech plant should give like another advantage to vehicles like maybe a speed bonus that will stack up if you have more tech plants but not, sa not a restriction like this so next is about the old arm stations I know they're working on the on new layer I know they're working on new layouts for 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 arm stations, but the old ones are really creating big problems. They're huge choke points, and uh, you cannot get to a point without the two shields. So I hope they'll change it fast. <laughs> so the next is about bio labs. I still think it's the worst facility. I, I would like that they would be much less bio labs. Uh, I heard that they will replace the interleague interleague facilities in Austin by bio labs, and I was so disappointed by that. Uh, I would like that they do a continent without bio labs. Actually, I think these facilities need uh, need a completely revamp. It's a huge choke point uh, with farming on the landing pads and uh, really a not funny base. Actually, it's a very pretty base, but not a funny base. I think that any small outpost is much better. I think there should be more reasons to fight for the basement level in the in the bio labs. Like uh, Sorva bio lab has an awesome basement level with the walls and lot of cover but it's not used it's a uh, useless there is no fight there so next is about the capture mechanics that i think are archaic compared to the complexity of the game i think they should be more complex the, it, sh they sh it should be progressive like they should like i think every facility should have multiple control points and at least one control point that is hard to get and not another one that is easy to get so there is a progression Big facilities could have many more uh, capture points, like there's A, B, and C. Like A is always the the easiest to get, B is a little harder, C is harder, D is harder, and you can put like uh, maybe five or six because the maps are huge. You can put the control points in the open somewhere. Why not? Seriously, in the open somewhere close to a base, or like at the entrance of a bridge before a base. So it will create a progression and a natural flow. So next one is a big one for me. I would love that the rumble seat on a flash could uh, see front and shoot front. I'd love this to be implemented like it will create cavalry guys. I would love to to see heavy assault on the back of a flash shooting rockets and getting away. Uh, why not seriously it will create like mini AA battery if you have a lock on. Uh, it would be so great and very simple to implement. So the last one is a little bonus, but I think it could be very good for the game, is the warp gate revamp. Right now most space in the warp gate is uh, useless. I would like that they put the terminals closer to the spawn tubes. I would like more landing pads, there's only two. There is like more landing pads in towers than in the warp gate. I would like that they have some, they add some dummies to shoot before to redeploy, like uh, in the VR, but in the warp gate, like a small shooting range. But this is bonus, this is a wish list. <laughs> These are wish list, guys. So I hope this uh, this wasn't too long. And I hope you agree with this. I'm gonna post this video on the, on the Reddit and the official forums. Please support it if you do. And uh, developers, please. Please, please, please. <laughs> oh, guys, I love Planet Side 2. But uh, if they could fix this, I would uh, play this for another year, I think. Because right now there's too much frustrating things. I've been rage quitting because of the because of the crashes and the coyotes and the motion spotters. Oh, I hope they this change. 
and I hope uh, housing will be much better and that they, fix, they revamp some facilities on, on Indar too. Also, Esamir, uh, screw these walls, please uh, do something, developers. I know you're doing pretty good, uh, and I saw the, the, the episode that they're posting, like uh, when they show how they construct housing, and it's awesome. I thank them a lot for that because it's, it was very interesting to see. And I see that they, they are, um, they are learning from their mistakes in the, in the map design. It's very good. GG to them. And that's it, guys. Good job, SOE, anyway, for the, for this awesome game. I'll continue putting videos on it. But please, at least some wishes. Uh, the front view for the back seat on the flash. Please, please, SOE, please. <laughs> uh, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. So, I'll uh, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video, guys. See you! Wow! <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Check your maps. I have a radar flash. 